Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys my first impressions of a game called Epoch Z. So, before going too much into it, this is probably the shittest game I've played in my entire lifetime. And to give you guys a bit of, you know, knowledge on what exactly the game is, it's very similar to DayZ, essentially a DayZ clone, but it's exclusive to the Xbox. So, it's the closest really you are going to get to DayZ on the Xbox, even though it's complete shit. It's one dollar or 69 pence if you are from the Great British Isles, as I myself are, or am, or something. And uh, yeah, we're just going to hop in the game and show you guys what it's like, because I think it's going to be a game a lot of people might be wondering what it is. So I should answer that question in this video, which in my opinion, it's a smelling, a really smelly piece of shit. Um, and also, many of you guys will probably buy it, but don't buy it. I know it's one dollar. But hopefully in the video, I should be able to show you guys why it's not worth that one measly little dollar. Anyway, before we get into the game itself, I'll go ahead and show you guys the amazing character customization you can do. So you can either be a black man with very small arms, or you can be a white man with very thick arms. He looks kind of Russian. Uh, the black guy looks like he might be missing some teeth. Everything's great here. And you can change your shirt. Um, a lot of colours here, you know. My favourite colour is red, because it's bandit. A bandit colour kind of thing. I'm going to murder some people today, so that's what I'm going to choose. And I'm going to take some camo pants because that way no one will ever see me. You can kind of see what the graphics look like from that. And I mean, it is one dollar. You can't really say the graphics are, I mean, you can't say the graphics are shit. But for one dollar, I felt, you know, I don't like to hate on games. Uh, maybe this is a decent deal for one dollar, but uh, I just expected it to be less buggy. Although it is one dollar. Anyway, survival guide. So obviously you've got blood, water, food, bandages, painkillers. Uh, you've got weapons, vehicles, backpacks, tents, a, a, a decent sized world, no enterable buildings from what I've seen except one, um, quell of cities, quell of zombies, and yeah, you can see, you know, weapons spawn in specific places, uh, weapons and ammunition always spawn in military facilities, blah 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 blah, and there's all the buttons. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hop straight into a live game, you can play local single player, but, you know, it's all about multiplayer, I'd say, for games like this, where you've got, you know, friendly, you're not friendly, you're a dirty bum bandit, etc, etc. Let's go ahead and join Creepy Boss Ninja, and see what kind of trouble we can get into. So, I did actually attempt to record this before. There's someone shooting me, I think, already. But yeah, I attempted to record this before, but the audio didn't record for whatever reason. So, I've had quite a lot of run-ins with people who save a friendly, and then the backstab you, the first opportunity they have, as you'll see right here, when I had a pistol, he, had, he just had a hatchet, I think. I ended up actually killing him, taking all his gear. It was pretty funny what he said on the voice communications as well. He was like, oh yeah, I just killed some guy. He was a bandit. Like, how was that bandit? I didn't kill a single person, but yeah. You could expect the same kind of people on this. Um, you know, people who backstab you, as you will find on DayZ. If anything, the audience is younger since it is on, you know, Xbox. So you'll hear a lot of young voices and no offense to younger players, but they're more prone to be massive dickheads and backstab you. That's kind of a fact. I will say in that, it doesn't mean all the people can't be dickheads too, like people are all the time. In fact, that guy who murdered me, as you just seen, he was a bit older. But uh, I think this place right here is uh, like a military compound or something. There's some people talking to each other in direct here. Well, not in direct. There's actually no um, like proximity talking in this game. So if you're going to talk, it's going to be across the entire server. I've heard a lot of people saying like, oh yeah, I've got a sniper come near and I'll blow off your head. Except he sounded like two years old, so it was a bit more funny, but... Yeah, so everyone talks um, globally, and most people don't seem to be too friendly. Right now it is night time, all of the servers use the same hive, so you've got the same gear, it's the same time, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I, I don't know man, these guys give me really weird looks. Oh shit, I'm scared. I've actually got a pistol right now as well as you can see. So I've got some, some small bits and bobs with no ammo unfortunately. But anyway, I think once eventually this is synced up, I'm gonna go head out and go try to show you guys some of the stuff you can do. I mean, so far you can see for one dollar, like what the fuck is going on? Like, I might just try to chop this guy up, you know. So that guy's dead, you know. Just chop everyone up, you know. It's for it's a simple solution. Chop that guy up, and then this guy, this guy needs chopped up too. Chop, chop, chop. There we go, we're all dead. So now what we've done is we've got a bunch of ammo, um, and some weapons and shit. Not really sure if those guys are friendly, but, you know, forgive me a weird look. Oh, yes! I got a backpack, toolbox. There we go, we've got some stuff now. Great. 
And I think I might have ammo for my... No, I don't have ammo for my gun yet, but I should have ammo for my gun pretty soon. Hopefully. Oh, well that was interesting, I guess. That's probably one of my biggest problems with a game. You're completely silent, and if someone attacks you with a hatchet, which you spawn with when you're looting, you can't do anything about it. You can't get away in time. I don't have any way of really saying whether I'm friendly or not. All I hear is is people saying like, Oh, are you the black guy? And I'm like, hmm, I am the black guy. I'm not sure if I'm going to murder me now. I have run into quite a few hackers in the past as well. You can see this clip right here. There was a guy shooting. And I can't really show you. Well, I can't let you guys hear the audio because the audio was broke. But uh, the audio on guns really, really sucks. In fact, all of the assets in this game really, really suck. You know, with, with graphics, animations. I'll show you guys the animations once it's daytime. Holy shit. They are horrible. In fact, you should be able to see them right now. This is for the hatchet swinging one. As you can see, very high quality. When you've got the, the running, uh, jumping one. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? So, yeah, they're all really shit. But, um, yeah, the guy who was shooting this assault rifle, I went behind him, as you'll see in this clip. Shot him in the head about 20 times. And then, um, well, after a while, he didn't seem to realise I existed. He just combat logged. And then another time as well. Uh, oh, mod. host migration, okay. It's going pretty good so far, isn't it? This is, as you guys can see, I'm just trying to save you one dollar, really. That's what I'm trying to do with this video. Just save you guys one dollar, because one dollar's going to add up. And it, it's, like I said, you know, one dollar can't be that bad. That's what I thought, but it can be that bad. It can be really shit. I also had a, a problem before where I logged in when you server. And since there's a lot of desync when you first join the server, in fact, it's still syncing right now, so there's no zombies. Um, I got killed. Oh, shit. What the fuck happened here? Got a friend and they've got, um, what the fuck? Like trial, I don't. Give like, am I getting shot? I don't even know. But yeah, um, I got killed by desync basically. Yeah, you can hear those, those gunshots right there. They're not very good, are they? I think you can fill up canteen. Like, crap. I think you can fill up canteens of a water, but when I did it before, it didn't actually do anything. It's just, um, it's it's very daisy esque It's on the Xbox, which is really going to attract a lot of Xbox players who don't have PCs. But it is, in fact, a complete pile of shit. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, where's all that gear gone now? The gear's just disappeared. Like, what happened there? What was that sound? I don't even know. It is pretty fun, though. I'll admit, um... Just listen to players talk to each other, you know, saying like, Oh, let's go join an Xbox Live party together, guys. We'll kill all the bandits. Which essentially makes them the bandits, because they're just going around shooting people. Um, you know, just a lot of weird stuff. A lot of really weird stuff. But I think I'm going to go try to get some car wheels, some some fuel tanks and whatnot. And uh, I'll try to repair a car. I doubt I'm going to get that far. I'll probably get killed by some guy who's like... Uh, what the fuck? Why are these zombies... Okay. I, I don't know. Yeah, this is showing you the zombies so quickly. The zombies really suck. But they work. But the thing is, when it's sinking, because the post migration shit, um, you have to spawn a new zombie, so. It's not very good, is it? Alright, let's take some loot anyway. And this stuff gives me some, uh, some HP back. There we go. Anyway. I'm going to show up for now, and I'm going to go for an adventure. Let's see what I can get. There's a car wheel right there as well, exactly what I'm looking for. Sorry. Seen a backpack, ready to source some more stuff. Alright, so right here we've got some some more... Well, not some more, I haven't really found any before. But this is some, some you know, su some supplies. So we've got like a bandage right there. We've got these pain pills, which I don't think they actually do anything. But, you know, it says for, for help you or something. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. Some food. And also, if I look just around this corner in a second. Let's go ahead and eat that quickly and take that water. Just over here is a toolbox, which of course you'll know from Daisy as well. So we've got that. If I drink, oh, don't want to get hit again. I was going to bleed, and then that's not going to be good. But yeah, if I get rid of, um, I'll just eat this. In fact, I'm not sure if that'll work. Then let's see. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, toolbox that takes up two slots, and then I can repair vehicles. So that's good. I don't know if there's a few vehicle spawns, but I honestly don't know how big the map is. I mean, like I mentioned at the start, you can't get tents. So it can't be that small. I did place one down earlier. It's pretty obvious how it works. It's just a tent you put on the floor and go boom. Um, but yeah, not really sure how big the map is. But I've heard a lot of people talking about these military bases, some plane crash on a mountain. It doesn't sound that bad, honestly. It just doesn't really... It's really stressful when you get killed by something that you're like, what the fuck just killed me? You know, getting killed by a bug, essentially. It's, it's not too fun. 
I'm going to drop this anyway and go ahead and take some more supplies. And then I think I'm going to head this away. And I'm going to take some more bandages as well because those are really important. See, that's not like there's a zombie right beside me, but there isn't. So does this game get the shittest, uh, the shittest game of the year award? Maybe. Maybe. You can get a compass as well, but I'm just going to head this direction for now and see what I can find. It will be daytime soon, but like I mentioned before, all the servers are on the same time cycle, which I personally do like. It's like, um, I don't know, a 20 minute day night cycle, so it should be daytime soon. I don't know if I'm going to find a vehicle today, so here's a small bit of vehicle footage I got before, although it was broken. And also, you might notice the sounds, but actually sound like it's daytime, like, nothing really makes sense in this game. Like, why do I hear birds tweeting it's, mi it's midnight, you know? I don't know. Who did make this? It's gonna make a decent amount of money, you know? $1,000? Like, 10,000 sales? That's it, easily. Because people love Daisy. If it's Daisy on an Xbox, then people love it even more because not everyone has a PC. I mean, the zombies, honestly, we work, um, we work decently. It's not like the decent get through walls and um, they do follow you. It's just for the animations, the sounds, and. Everything, it kind of makes them a bit shit. There's a lot of zombies down there as well. So this is another city right here. But I'm going to head straight through it, try to go along a road and find a smaller city or somewhere in a military compound if I can. But from what I've been told, loot does not respawn. I'm not sure about that one, so that's going to make things a bit harder. Let's kill some more zombies. Oh, it looks like I might have found another military compound. My favourite. So this might be the military compound that I've heard a lot of people talking about. Uh, the door's actually closed. How about I open the door? Or maybe I can't even get in here. Oh! Wait, what? So I can I kind of jump in? Wait, I don't know. Maybe there's another door? Like, I hope it's not just closed off. That'd be, that'd be weird. Go away. I think there's only one melee weapon in the game, by the way, if anyone's wondering, which is, of course, the beautiful hatchet, so... Oh, shit! Okay, I'm taking shots now. I don't know where I'm from. Because we're good shots in this, uh, this game on, on two directions. Okay, I'm bleeding now, all of a sudden. Oh. Right, there we go. Back to this wonderful military cab again. It's finally becoming daytime, so you guys can appreciate the game and its full graphical fidelity glory thing or something. Um, don't really know how I died to be honest, like, if, I don't know where he was, but this is my gear right here. You can see he didn't actually touch my gear because literally in this game there's no reason not to kill people, so people kill you just for the sake of killing you, so. We don't actually take your gear because that would be too much. Oh shit, there's people here, run! Right, okay, we'll just, we'll just show we're friendly. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll walk in, we'll, you know, we'll do a friendly thing. You know, like, look, I'm cool, I'm cool. You know? But is someone without a mic? How do I... Oh, they're shooting me. This game's fucking shit! I'd say maybe if you got a bunch of uh, nice friends, then you could have like a small amount of fun from this game. And I, ha I have definitely got my one dollar's worth, you know. I've played it for like an hour now. But it's just, it's, you died of like, like what killed me there? I didn't hear a single gunshot. What's going on in the city right here? Why are zombies spawning in and flying around? It's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. But it makes sense thinking one dollar can't be that shit. But uh, it can be. And this is, this is the one, two, one and two I've seen as well, but. It doesn't look like there's anything that spawns in it. That's too impressive. Actually, I think that's some ammo right there, yeah. Some ammo, okay, let's take that. Who knows, I might one day find a weapon, guys. One day. And then I'll be able to rebel and shoot the guys who have shot me in the past. The only problem is, the only guy I've ever shot before is a hacker, so I don't really know how it feels to murder someone or how many shots it takes. Let's go head back anyway. I know the map decently now. I just need to go this direction and I should get there eventually. I don't know what's going on with my head as well. It's like my head's two different segments. Like my right head, the right side of my head's... It's got like a split in it in the back. Hmm. But it is getting updates, you know. Um... It could probably be worse. It's just. Do you want me to kill him because he killed like three people? Do you want me to kill him because he killed like three people? I mean, I didn't kill anyone. I, I was just chilling out with my hands up on my head, you know? Just chilling out, and I was killed anyway, so. It's always nice to listen to these people, but I had some really good audio clips. 
from the last time I played, like, some people say some hilarious shit. You know, bandits and whatnot. I haven't heard anyone ever rob votes. It's never been like, you know, get on the floor. I mean, because you can't get on the floor, you can crowd. Oh my god. What the f Yeah, that's- that looks even better than anything I've ever seen before. Yeah, it's not like you can say, get on the floor, drop your weapons. Because we could just have an M4 per bum, so you just shoot them on sight. There's even more of a reason to shoot people on sight on this, because we have a weapon up per bum. And if a military base is just, um... Just right here, actually, just beside this sign, I think. So, I'm sure there's going to be some nice, friendly people there. I'm just, yep, yep, there it is right there. I'm just going to stand there. I'm going to be like, friendly. And if I have to, I might just have to server hop. Because people on this server don't seem too nice. <laughs> but it's not like it's tagged with Alpha, Beta, or something like that. It's just epoxy. I mean, I didn't expect something perfect for one dollar, but, um... I expected something, at least. You know? Right, again, we didn't take my loot, because, you know, fuck taking loot. Or at least we didn't take some of my loot. We just took the bandages, I think. But let's see if we can find something here, at least. A pistol. Anything, really. What's this? So this is a large backpack. Those things are pretty good. Although I don't seem to be able to pick them up. Oh, there we go. Um, Some ammo. Okay. And I'll see a pistol. Yep, that's a Desert Eagle right there. Beautiful. So I don't think I've got any ammo for this thing. Let's see. Oh, I've got ammo for it. Okay. Calm down, calm down. How do I reload? X. Okay, I don't understand how that works, but we'll go with it. So I've got a pistol now, guys. I'm deadly. I'm not scared to shoot. Get on the floor, mate. This is a robbery. Do I look intimidated, guys? Tell me I look intimidating and beautiful as well. Look at my little grin. My little shit-eating grin. <laughs> it's also interesting how I'm holding the deagle like an M4, but, you know. Let's, let's ignore that. There's a reason I'm only doing one part in this game as well, in case you guys are wondering. Oh, you're probably not. It's because that's all I can handle. That's all I can handle. Really. I see I haven't some loot inside the city anyway, and... I don't know. <sighs> Safe this time I don't get murdered, maybe? I mean, I did murder three people in blood at the start, so you could say karma. But, um... I don't know. We're looking at me in a weird way, you know? I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. A few zombies animations at daytime as well, they're, they're great, aren't they? So our backpacks. So I know there's two military camps now. There's one at the spawn, and there's one here, which is very easy to go to. The spawns are pretty much always around the first city, as people like to call it, so... If you get that, I mean, you will get that spawn, then uh, you'll, you'll know which way to go. And it looks like... Oh, there's a heli... or oh, a plane over here. This is what people were talking about before. Wow, that flame looks... Fucking high quality. Let's see what's cracking over here then. There we go. See, we've got some canteens and stuff I talked about was before. About how the hell do you fill them up? I don't know. Uh, but you could probably fill them up. Like, surely we didn't add something into the game which is completely broke. That's a, um, a tent right there which I can put up if I actually put it in my inventory. Oh. Go. Ow. Go away. Yeah. Go in my inventory, please. There we go. Yeah, we can put up our tent if we want. And uh, store some loot there. I'm going to go ahead and deploy it just to piss people off, you know. I'm not planning on playing this game for too much longer, so don't think it's much of a point of storing some gear. But if you want to, you know, become a hardcore Epoch Z player, or however the hell you want to pronounce it, then that option is there. Oh. There we go. Alright, let's see what kind of fat stack of moonies we can find beside this hangar then, you know? It's, wait, is it a hangar or is it a barn? Yeah, it's a hangar barn, I call it. Oh wow, a car wheel. My favourite. Nom nom nom. There we go. Alright, this is a plane, you know. Planes must have some kind of amazing loot at them, right? I see some loot already. Let's check it out. I don't like the server, yet, the server anymore either, so I might change it in a second. Oh, wow. Hmm. Looks like the survivors left some, um... Some tinned, uh, cans. I mean, some tinned food. Let's see. That's nice. Hmm, baked beans. Oh, I sure told those zombies. So at least we've got a bunch of bandages here, which I can't, I can't not pick up. Those things are good. And also, a shotgun. Ooh, with no ammo. Amazing. Oh, I've got ammo for it as well. Okay, we're good, guys. We're good. We've got two shotguns. We've got one Desert Eagle. And we've got a hatchet. Let's go slay some people. Woo! Woo! <laughs>
Anyway, my game just crashed because it is, of course, a game of the year for $1, so that's a bit of a shame. And didn't really expect that to be else, honestly. Surprise, it hasn't crashed already. I really can't be asked to play it anymore either, but I'm going to finish it up. Don't worry. And, I mean, you can see simply from looking at the screen, the main screen, like, the logo is some shitty font. And I noticed a spacing with collected survivors, different to search and collect, so, I don't know. It's a pretty simple graphics right there. Anyway, let's get back in the game and start enjoying ourselves again. If you're wondering how many servers there is by the way, there isn't uh, very many at all because all appear to PS, so as you've seen before, when someone leaves, then it will change the host to someone else. And that does cause a lot of DSync issues, a lot of, um, just a lot of issues. Never use peer to peer servers. Never. Even if a game's one dollar. I don't accept peer to peer servers. Wait, where's my character? Oh, Fuck this game! Right, I'm playing one more life, guys. I'm pissed off. Where did my character go? I had a character beside the plane, I remember. And now he's gone. <sighs> I guess we're going back to the plane then. Wonderful. Connor, you killed me! Oh my fuck! Well, I was God. right there! Shut the fuck up, Connor! I was Connor. just standing right there! I mean, it's not my fault! Right when I said, oh my gosh, I found the crash plane! You killed me! Now, what did you... Can you pick up all my stuff? I wasn't in your party! Um, I know! I, I said, oh my gosh, I found the crash plane! Now, pick uh, up all the stuff, and I mean everything, even if it means you have I to drop have some of your stuff. Inventory. Oh I did drop some of your God. stuff, because that's your fault. Why am I getting I'm not shot using at? all my stuff because you jacked up. Yeah, this is 99% um, of the game. Honestly, I haven't had too many run-ins with uh, the... Now, you better not shoot any of my SMG bullets at all. The screw of children. Man, <laughs> I'm serious. That took forever to get. <laughs> I told you it was funny listening to people. Do you hear me? And I'm gonna go to. I'm going back to play as well. I hope I'm in room. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh my god! I'm still talking about this man. I I'd say this is the one reason I'd say to buy the game. Let's say it was a guy over there, so I can see his flashlight. Because you get to hear people get angry at each other, say the bandits or whatever else, get backstabbed. It's actually pretty funny in, in that sense. So, I mean, maybe it is worth one dollar. Maybe I'm being too critical. No, I'm probably not. For fuck's sake. Oh, great. I'm the new host. That's, that's wonderful. Great. <sighs> Hope my uh, my two friends haven't left. If only I could talk to them and ask them if they're still there. All right. I think this is, yeah, we're still playing right here, so I'm going to go ahead and log off, because apparently everyone has left the server. I'm going to join a new server, and then we're going to finish this up, because there's, there's not really much else to say here. Like, is the server still up? I'm confused. Was I just kicked out of the server? And... Okay, I, I was. That doesn't make any sense. Like, it's really... Like, everything about this game is just weird. Like, I'm in, I'm back in the server again. It wasn't that was, you know, a new host. It's just I became a host of my own server. I don't know. You can see me some some of the names here as well. You know, you, you've got... Me. There's a guy somewhere you were playing there and I can't see a bloody thing. Like, uh, I was getting your stuff. Shit, I think I've seen him over there with a little flashlight. <laughs> yeah, I got him! <laughs> Alright, let's turn off a flashlight and let's go get all this shit then. Alright, what have I got? No! Oh, fuck this game, seriously. I'm fucking done, guys. Um, anyway, thanks enough for watching. If you guys think this game's good, then it's delusional. Um, if you got any thoughts, then feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'm genuinely curious. Is this game worth one dollar? That's my question. I don't think it is. Unless all you've got is an Xbox and you can't be asked to wait for DayZ, then I guess maybe, but it's just, it's so fucked up and, and like, it's so desync because of the peer-to-peer -peer servers. Um, there's no reason not to kill people, there's no direct communication, so who who the hell knows who you're talking to? A lot of the time I've seen people like, oh, is that you, black man with pink shirt? It's like, no, and then it's too late because you're dead. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. Um, like I said, feel free to leave your thoughts on the game in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys. Next time I swing this hatchet, and also the, the old intro or outro was much better because I, I met that hacker, and I thought it was a really good way to end it, meeting that hacker, but it's our troll too. Anyway.
I'll see you guys next time. And if you'd be interested in some more epoxy videos, then um, there's not gonna be any more. <laughs> Why would there? <laughs> anyway, bye bye.